waiting for the core to defrost. It's super cold still. Yeah. We just had about 10 inches of snow in North Carolina, which is weird. It's supposed to be all melted by now. It's not. I almost fell down the driveway because it's still covered in ice. Um, What are we doing? He hates when I ask that question like 500 times in one day. Okay, so wait, I'll tell you what we're doing because I know what we're doing. We're going to the Home Depot. Do you have the list? No, that's your responsibility. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. I have, yeah, I have the list. Okay, so we're going to the Home Depot today. We're going to go and get lug nut and a jack stand and a funnel. So we're gonna go and put the engine coolant back in the engine so that we can turn it on, make sure it still runs. We're gonna take off one of the tires that's broken um, and supposedly has a dead spot that you saw us driving on when we bought the bus. So yeah. We might get the bus started today. That would be good. That would be good. Anyway. Yeah, started it since he does one. Yeah. So starting to melt. Let's let's go. So Home Depot didn't have the piece that we needed and I called around at a bunch of different tire stores and nobody also had what we needed and the places hey, that we could, they were all closed. So now he's calling the person that he found on Craigslist. So we got done at the Home Depot. They didn't have what we needed. Wah wah. So now we are gonna go put engine coolant in the bus and um, hope she starts and do some research on buying that piece that we need to remove that lug nut um, online. Since it's like so heavy duty, it's like two and five eighths of an inch wide and how deep? Two and a half and uh, Two and a half deep. And the biggest one they had at the Home Depot was like what? Like an inch and Inch and, inch and a half. half yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna try and figure out where we can get um, the piece that we need. I mean, or technically, see if we can drive it out <coughs> to Pedro. To Pe his name is Pedro. His name is Pedro. <laughs> cool. Go for Pedro. I mean, technically, we could, but it's driving an hour at risk. The fact that we don't have it's not registered, it's not insured, we could end up like getting yeah, in no, trouble. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. And it's still icy out too. So I guess we're just gonna try and turn the bus on and. has a website where you can go on there and look up all their service manuals you can make a profile and look up their service manuals and I looked that up to try to figure out what type of coolant they recommend and they recommend a variety of them but this was one that I was able to find online Xerox G-05 formula antifreeze coolant 5050 pre-diluted and it comes in two kinds, right? One's diluted and one's not diluted. Well, that's just coolant in general it comes in concentrated and diluted. But the one that I found online was already um, pre-diluted. Um, I got four gallons of it for about I think about 56 bucks. But I don't know. I was looking at the manual and I think I got enough. I think this is a gallon. Yeah, I got four gallons. We're about to see. Um, I'm not really sure, but as you can tell, I really know what I'm doing here. Yeah, it's okay. We learn as we go. All right, pull her out. There's the air. So you have to let the air bubble out. Round two. Uh. 
How you feel? I don't know. I'm kind of stressed out. Why? Because, man, I'm just like... <clears throat> I'm like, I've checked all my resources and everything. But I just get scared that I'm going to mess something up. Well, we got just, the manual for this actual bus, right? For the engine, yeah. Yeah. You get the... When you go on the Cummins website and you make a profile, you have an opportunity to enter your engine serial number. And that pulls up the manual for your particular engine. Did you have to pay for it? No, it was free. And so I got the engine serial number off of the bus. It was actually on the front plate right above the driver. Keep an eye on that little piece, that plastic piece right there. Which one? The this? one, yeah, I believe that's how you can tell like, when it's beginning to fill up. It's kind of like you're measuring. Alright, pull it up. Like, where does it show up in here? <clears throat> oh, I see. So that plastic. That's yeah. the jug. The lost one. I don't know, I don't see anything happening in here. So it shows you here if it's enough? That should be where you were able to see. And you wouldn't want to turn it on if you it's You want to feel enough. like right up underneath the fill cap. What? I think I see some back there. Now what, babe? So we didn't have enough. We filled it up. We didn't have enough. So we yeah. still can't turn the engine on. Wah, wah. And we also found out that the Home Depot did have what we needed to be able I to take the tire that. off. Justin didn't measure it properly. I'm completely failing today. So now we're going to go back out to the Home Depot and get that, I guess, so we can work on the tire as well. Or what, what do you want to do? To that's too high. I'm not going to look at the sky. Why don't you get us both in? Okay, sorry. Alright, no one likes to watch videos with heads sorry. cut out. <laughs> look, there's our chicken coop. Looks nice. Yeah, it does from far away. Oh, the chickens. They knew we were talking about them. Chickens. Oh, is he messing with them? Yeah. That's so funny. Okay, so we're going to go back out and... Is there anything else? You left me hanging. You left me hanging. It's just me now, so... <laughs> Round two. Pew pew! Go. All right, so, <clears throat> where do I even start? Okay, so it's been one heck of a morning trying to figure out all the stuff that we need to get this tire off. We need to get this tire off, we might have explained before, because there's something wrong with it, I think. I hope it's not in the axle, but when we drove it back home, when we got above 45 miles an hour, the, the tire would wobble, and it was extremely unsafe. I, I was really, really stressed out about driving it. I think we got screwed at the purchase. This dude gave us some bunk tire, whatever. Now, all that being said, we have to get this tire off so that we can take it in, have somebody look at it, potentially replace it. And so to do that, these lug nuts are huge. So we had to get all the necessary materials to get it off. So we literally had to go to Home Depot and we had to buy this entire kit just to get this one piece, which sucked. And then I put it on this breaker bar as if I could actually break the lug nut off the tire. That ain't gonna happen, shoulda known. Um, and so I've got this impact drill in which I had to go to Harbor Freight, which is awesome by the way, and get this adapter. It was like $5 for these three pieces. Cool. This was like 150. <laughs> oh my God. So that this would fit on like so. Now, we're ready. And we're gonna see if we can get a lug nut off. Should I stop making a video? I know, babe. 
So, it didn't work. It's just not powerful enough to take these lug nuts off the bus. I don't know how exactly we're gonna do this. It's not road legal. It's not anywhere close to being road legal. And for us to put it on the road, it needs to have the tire changed. I talked to this guy, Pedro, off Craigslist. I asked him to come out here. Send him my address. It's an hour away. I don't know if he's gonna come. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so I'm not sure what to do. It's back to the drawing board at this point. I tried everything I could now. More Google searching. Stay positive. I hope so hard we have enough. Yeah, we're gonna have enough. So just to bring you guys up to date, we ordered four of these, filled this thing up, and it wasn't enough. And so we are continuing to do the fill up procedure. We've got four more going, hopefully that'll be enough. Don't know. Hey, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You can hear the bubbles coming out. The way that this filters out air is it just <laughs> filters out of the temperature probe, temperature gauge get thing. Some poop in your head. Probably do. <laughs> what do you want, dude? He wants to snuggle. I hear you, man. I hear you. There's a five gallons. Both five gallons. So ten gallons. Well, no, they didn't fill them up. Ow, dude, Akuna. <laughs> Stop, babe. We'll give you love in a minute. Right now, we're busy. We're what busy right want, now. Dude? What do you want? Come in. Ah, ha. Hey, bud. He likes to be hauled. Hold it like hold a it. <laughs> Hold it. Like hold it like <laughs> This cat requires attention on a regular basis. It's a lot of upkeep. Just to add to that, he eats like a five cats worth of food. Chickens. The chickens, they just do their own thing. They're independent. So it finally is. And then we're gonna have to run the engine winter. for a little bit. So I'm gonna fill it up just a time. I'm gonna touch, top it off. And then once it starts circulating, you might have to fill it up a little bit more. Oh, babe, I'm so excited. Let's get this thing cranked. It's been too long. Well, let's give it a... We'll let it sit there for a couple minutes. Let any more... Any leftover air drain out. And then... And it said like two to three minutes. And I'm going to read through the manual real quick just one more time before we get it started just to make okay. sure I didn't miss anything. Cool. But we still got one and a quarter left so that if we start it and the level goes down, we can fill it up a little bit and top it off. Cool. They said you might have to top it off, so we'll see. So, it might be time to start the bus again. Yes! Alright, how's it look, babe? It's already gone down a little bit. Good. I wonder if we need to pour more in there. Let's go ahead and top it off. And then wait again? Yeah. Okay. This is the key, right? Yeah. Alright, exciting, exciting. So for the best. We're gonna let it warm up first or what? Let's just crank it on. Yeah, we literally haven't turned it on for months. Ready? Yeah. Just taking a peek at all my stuff here. How's it look? Huh? Let me see. Here's what we're gonna see where the water or the coolant temperature is, and it says to crank it on until it hits about 180. What is this? Glad it still runs after all that snow and whatnot, so good news.